Alright, welcome back to another Gamer Know How. Today we're going to be looking at Bungie, because Bungie is once again in the news cycle for its layoffs. It's facing big time backlash as its parent company, Sony, is already citing major job losses and major financial straits, dire straits coming for Sony because Sony even paid Bungie to not do these layoffs. It's been released that the Bungie layoffs in 2024, they were not approved. Sony did not approve these layoffs. Sony did not want these layoffs. It even cited that it need, needed to add jobs in order to correctly fund Bungie's project operations. But Bungie just said, eh, screw you. We're just going to lay off a bunch of workers. And it turns out they didn't really need to lay off any workers because they didn't have that many financial. Their financial struggles, they're all caused by the CEO being greedy. We'll talk about all that and why Sony even tried to stop these layoffs from happening. So screw Bungie, let's get into it. Sony tried to stop this. When Sony acquired Bungie for $3.7 billion, it spent about $1.2 billion aiming to retain jobs, retain staffing at the company. Preventing job loss was cited as a goal that Sony needed, as it needed the additional labor to run Bungie and keep its major game operations such as Destiny 2 and Marathon running. With Destiny 3 on the horizon and being te teased for the future, Sony needs jobs. It said it, need jo it needed jobs to be retained in order to keep the game operations on schedule, keep them updated, keep them patched, keep them good, solid, and ready to go in for the future. So Sony spent $1.2 billion out of its $3.7 acquisition for Bungie to keep for staffing retention, to keep people employed at the company. And Bungie still fired people. I mean, that just shows Sony. You gotta punish them. Honestly, people are criticizing Sony, and I do criticize them because they basically spent a bunch of money for bun for nothing. Because that 1.2 billion dollars, it's gone now. You spent it for bun. You spent it to keep staffing retention at the company, and Bungie laid off its workers. So. Um, Sony basically wasted 1.2 billion dollars because you couldn't keep your company from laying off workers. I mean, that's pretty much what's happening. So, Sony's just been seen as weak now, and right now Bungie is getting major pushback for its layoffs, which is good because, as we'll see in a second, it didn't need to lay off that many workers. The company was doing just fine. It was just a greedy CEO. Bungie's off its lease, citing financial shortages. I say that in quotations because we'll see that they didn't have a lot of finance. If their CEO hadn't spent money for his own personal life, they wouldn't have financial shortages. Bungie's laid off 17% of its workforce, laying off 220 workers, even though its parent company cites staffing shortages as a major concern heading into the third quarter of 2024. This comes after in October 23, Bungie had already laid off 100 workers, so we're sparking massive outrage on social media. Yeah, so Bungie laid off 70% of his workforce, already laying off 100 workers last year in October. It cites financial shortages, but the company, it's not financially shortage. It doesn't have financial shortage, as we're going to talk about in a minute. Its greedy CEO was spending millions on, on his own personal life. The company was doing great at this point. I mean, it didn't need to lay off all these people. It really didn't. 320 people within two years, and Bungie said it's not even done. Sony says that it needs people. It needs jobs to fund all these gaming operations. So yeah, if Sony's telling Bungie you can't fire people, and Bungie's laying off people anyway, I mean, frick, that that just shows that Sony's allowing this to happen, even though it's saying it doesn't. It needs more people. So what are you going to do? Hire more people even though you just laid off a bunch of people? Makes no sense. Because as it al as it always is, it comes down to greed. Is Bungie really struggling? No. The CEO of the company reportedly spent $2.4 million on an expensive car collection with one laid off worker claiming that she was shown this car collection less than a week before she was laid off. That freaking sucks. Imagine the CEO of your company invites you on a trip and shows you off, shows off his expensive car collection, and less than a week later, they lay, they lay you off. So you were shown a million dollar expensive car collection that the CEO was spending millions of the profits of Bungie on, and then lays, off, lays you off. Lays you off the company. Shows how much he really cares about the company. 
he's only using the company to profit himself and spend on expensive cars. I say to Sony, fire this guy. Replace him, make him homeless, make him suffer, make him have to sell off all of his little expensive cars and make him spend the rest of his life regretting that he is a awful, greedy human being and deserves all the suffering in the world. Laying off people just so you can spend more money on cars. That's how, that's how stupid this is. The tech industry in 2024 alone has seen 384 companies laying off workers resulting in 124,517 jobs lost. That's a that's 120,000 people seeing their jobs losing their jobs. Like I said before, people say that layoffs cause games to go down in price, and that's why many many gamers, the majority of gamers, see layoffs as success. However, I just have to tell you that's not true. We've said it before. Microsoft is raising prices on its games after laying off people. So it's laying off people and raising prices on its subscription service and games in general. So yeah, bullcrap. It's literally gaining. Microsoft is showing gamers that hey, uh, we don't give a shit about you. Um, yeah, we're gonna lay off our employees and we're gonna raise prices. So it's a double win for us and a double loss for consumers. Add in EA saying that they're not they're going to be cutting back workers as well as just not making any new games for 2025, and you've got a triple loss for consumers. Less games, more expensive games, more exp expensive subscription services, leading to lesser quality games, a quadruple loss, and add on top, they're laying off workers. So workers are getting screwed, consumers are getting quadruple screwed, and it's all thanks to greedy companies. If I'm telling you right now, they need to be taken, they need to be punished. They need to be, they need to suffer for doing this. Hurting consumers quadruply for quadru quadruple suffering for consumers like me and workers like me get screwed in the process as well. We're all getting screwed while the companies lay, make out like bandits. I get the smaller companies doing this because they're kind of struggling through this year, but these are big companies. EA, Bungie, Bethesda, Sony, ZeniMax, Microsoft, Riot, EA. These are all big companies in the gaming world making out like bandits while all of us suffer. So yeah, screw these companies. I hope they get punished, take away their subsidies, make them get ruined for, do for pulling this major suffering in the gaming industry, ruining workers lives, ruining conservers, consumers lives by making everything expensive, less quality, and just taking away and just decreasing the amount of new games in general. So yeah, frick these companies. Thank you guys so much for watching. That'll do it for this segment. Like if you like, dislike if you don't, subscribe if you like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo, have a blessed day.